Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than yourself. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut. Love doesn't have a swelled head and doesn't force others on others. Um, love isn't always me first. Love does not fly off the handle like I do. <laughs> but love doesn't keep score of sins of others. Love takes pleasure in the flowering of truth. Love puts up with anything. Love always looks out for the best. It never looks back. And love keeps going to the end. And that's my prayer for you. Stay out super late tonight Picking apples, making pies Put a little something in our lemonade And take it with us, we're half away In a fake empire We're half away in a fake empire So through our shiny city With our diamond slippers on Do our gay ballet and ice Bluebirds on our shoulders We're half awake In a fake empire We're half awake In a fake empire strengthened with all glorious power so that you will have all the endurance and the patience that you're going to need. So the time that you have come to after so many years, Ricky, do you take Anna to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, to cleave only to her, 
from this day forward for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, and to love and cherish her until death or our Lord's return. Thank you. And Anna, do you take Ricky to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold and to cleave only to him from this day forward, for richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, and in sickness and in health, to love, to honor, and to cherish until death or our Lord's return. Now by the power that's vested in me, by the state of California and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you now man and wife. Ricky, you may now kiss your wife, Anna Broadhead, for the first time in your relationship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and Mr. Carlson's to Mr. Carlson's chagrin <laughs> that I introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Richard Broadhead. So is Anna, because you're going to take care of her, you're going to protect her, you're going to care for her, you're going to provide for her. You better. <laughs> you should uh, love your wife and above all other humans. First Peter teaches a husband to honor your wife. She gave up her name to take yours. <laughs> uh, you should be courteous, considerate, and offer emotional support all the days of her life. Anna, Ephesians tells you that wives should submit. I didn't read the rest of the paragraph because unlike the pastor today who kind of went into it, I didn't. I thought that said it all, kind of summed it up. Um, but I know that's not going to happen. You know how. Um, so Ricky, husband, submit. I just want to say thank you to you guys for everything that you've taught me through like relationships. You guys have always been there for me through thick and thin and no matter what has happened I can always count on you guys. I can always call you guys and I can always rely that I'm going to have your support and your love and I'm so proud of both of you and everything that you guys have come through and accomplished. 
I know this new journey is going to be an amazing one, filled with the best of times, and I cannot wait to be a part of it. I'm so glad you have both found the one whom your souls love, and I love you both so much, and I'll always be there for you.